My name is Callum Chase. I write books and give talks about artificial intelligence. I've been doing this for five years now, um, but I've been interested in artificial intelligence all my life. I'll make a confession. The reason I'm interested in artificial intelligence is I like science fiction. And I've always thought that one day, probably thousands of years in the future, we would create a, a, a race of machines cleverer than ourselves. It's a very common theme in, in science fiction. And it was in 1999 I read a book by a man called Ray Kurzweil that made me think that it could actually happen in my lifetime, which was a startling thought. I thought that changes everything. And when I retired in 2011 from my career in business, I decided to pursue that hobby. Uh, I read everything I could find about it and I started to write about it. And so that's how I got into this business. So there are many challenges that artificial intelligence raises. It, it is a tremendously powerful technology and it can deliver great benefits, but there are many challenges. The one that exercises me most at the moment is how we deal with an economy where a large number of people, very probably a majority of people, cannot work. I think governments, wealthy organizations, banks around the world should set up a series of research organizations, think tanks, staffed with bright people who have a full-time job to work out what are the potentially successful solutions to this economic transition. I'm confident we can, but we have to start now, uh, particularly on what I call the economic singularity, the, the changes that uh, joblessness will bring. So I am confident that we can make these transitions successfully. I'm worried that we haven't started to plan for the economic singularity. If you want to have a, a successful and better life for your children and your grandchildren, it really would be a good idea to understand the enormous changes that are going to happen. I mean, our economies are going to change radically in the next generation. And in the next two generations, so, you know, in our grandchildren's lifetimes, the nature of being human will be quite different from what it is now because of artificial intelligence.